what I'm trying to do with my work is most of the time looking at our perception of landscape, of maybe not so much nature, but landscape as it's inhabited by humans looking at paintings that more often are sort of coming from the Romantic Sublime era, German or Scandinavian. And what I've been trying to do for a long time is to sort of represent and reframe those landscapes with the sort of human psychology in mind that the landscape represents um, something beyond what we see, obviously. And, and the whole notion of the foreground, midground, background is really interesting to me, that you have um, a sort of sense of time moving through the landscape. At the moment, looking at mainly two areas, the, the lift as a space that's moving, where I'm hoping that I can uh, enable a window to be cut into the lift because it's actually going through a glass shaft so you could see the outside through that window. Alongside the window would be a video project, a, a, a video screen, but um, exactly the same size as the window. So I want to do something where the movement of the real window has relationship to that film, which most likely will be filmed out of that window initially. What was for me odd and interesting to start with, to think that there were hanging gardens and I had this fantasy of really lush hanging gardens with lots of greenery and uh, sort of uh, something that certainly I don't think I would find there now. But I think that's a good starting point though, the incentive of trying to make it more of a garden that is much um, much more leafy and even if it is maybe just with images at least to sort of imply a garden. I'm really interested in this sort of presenting something, making, making, making something possible where you can sort of disappear either in another space because of a, a narration or a sound or by looking at very small intensive stereoscopic images. And I would like to work with the glass panels um, in the public accessible spaces because they're very tall sort of glass panels um, screening off the balconies. I'm quite keen to use a particular type of seating in those areas. They are super comfortable and very safe and very uh, perfect for what I want to do. Basically, whatever I'm going to put there is so minimal, you, you want to invest time in it or you don't. And in a way, I think it's a really important thing that they can make a choice. All those people will be in a different mood every time they go and they will be repetitively going there. So in a way, I, I want to take that on board as well, that there's a sort of certain amount of change to allow for different moods and, and uh, different weathers and so on. And I'm also hoping I could do some more planting of grasses, etc., in the balcony spaces to animate that space a little bit more because in a way I want to make use of the fact that it could be a really beautiful place to wait.